picture that we have. It is a picture of Ryan and Valerie. Ryan is our assistant principal at Rose. Valerie is our principal secretary and several of our kiddos from Rose at the Jack Emery kickoff. Here we have a uh, trustee Yip Schwan with several students at Senate where three of our teachers who have been doing for several years a signature practice of uh, vertical grade level pro uh, project-based learning. And in this case, their uh, project that they were solving for and demonstrating is how a culture shapes uh, history and also uh, commonalities that they found. And so they created uh, a game to demonstrate that for uh, each group, demonstrated what they learned through a game and it was participatory. And it's things like this that increase our attendance because uh, kids are excited about what they're learning. They're uh, dependent on each other uh, in a team atmosphere in order to complete the assignment. And as you can see, for today's attendance, it was 95.9, which is slightly up from the last Tuesday that we were together, but uh, it definitely needs to increase more than that. The Jack and Marie brunch, as you can see here, uh, there are some more pictures. And we have up in the left, we have Vern Cruz, our new principal at Rancho, who was one of our veterans that we just honored through the video. And this was an opportunity for teams from all of our schools, as well as our district office, as well as the board to come together to remember in community why we have Jack Emery uh, and how he years ago established the tradition that we have of coming together and bringing uh, food for those in our community who are in need. And Karen Collender, who's been running our Malpitas Food Pantry for over 20 years, shared with us that this last year, we brought in so many cans and food, uh, excuse me, and dollars that she just uh, ran out last uh, month. So she said it was the greatest effort that we've had in years, and she's looking forward to the support again. And so collectively, uh, what our school leaders who put on the, who launched the brunch, uh, Nuao Nguyen, who is the president at Milpitas High School, she said that our overall goal this year for the entire district will be 140,000 can't canned food equivalents. Last year was 100,000, so she's upping it by 40. And the board and I uh, determined that 3,000 would be our goal. That's 3,000 canned food equivalents, and it could be dollars, and for every dollar that equals two cans, or it could be cans. And um, Tonight, I would like to invite President Norwood to introduce the challenge that we discussed between the executive cabinet and the board. So between the board and the executive cabinet, whoever brings in the most cans or whoever accepts or um, achieves the highest amount of of donations has to sponsor the others lunch. Yep. So that is a challenge from the board executive cabinet. Are you willing to accept that challenge? Yep. The executive cabinet is willing to accept. <laughs> One steak. <laughs> okay. Do we do we need do we need to decide do we want to decide on the lunch place where they're gonna take us right now or <laughs> <laughs> So you mean where you're going to take us? <laughs> Over the chow? No, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> no. Okay. So the challenge accepted. Okay. So at our December board meeting, we will reveal the results. So get ready to take us to lunch. <laughs> Bring it on. And that concludes the superintendent's report for tonight.